Uh, today's presentation is the, our triple, our newest uh, indicator is called the triple formation system. I use it on all my trading. You can use it for stocks, options, futures, Forex. It takes and incorporates the Ichimoku cloud, otherwise known as Ichimoku Kink and Hoi. So we're going to talk about here, and it is actually very rare for me to do a presentation during the trading day. Gee, I'm so encompass with uh, my trading. So I'll probably be trading as we go on here because I do actively trade uh, the course of the day. So what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about how to set up the Ichimoku Cloud on Thinkorswim. So let me just go in here. So what we're going to learn today, guys, is the Ichimoku Cloud. And I have a lot longer than I usually get for this presentation, but that's okay. So we're going to talk about what the Ichimoku Cloud is. Okay, so what is the Ichimoku Cloud? Okay, we're going to talk about setting it up on Thinkorswim. I'll show you guys how you can set it up on your own platform. Okay. Then we're going to talk about the calculations. And then we're going to go into using it for triple confirmation. Okay, There was a signal today in Amazon that if you took the signal on the triple confirmation of the short side, you could have made money just today. Okay, You can use it for day trading. You can use it for swing trading. Um, and it's not a subscription. You'll never have to pay ever again. So this is what we're going to go over throughout the presentation over the next hour and a half, hour and 15 minutes. If you guys have any questions throughout the presentation, please feel free to ask questions. Uh, knowledge is power and power is knowledge. So feel free um, to ask questions. So a little risk disclaimer here. It says day trading, short-term trading, option trading, and futures trading are extremely risky and undertaken. They are generally not appropriate for someone with little to no capital. Little to no trading experience and a low tolerance of a lit risk. Ooh. Never execute a trade unless you're willing and prepared to lose your entire investment. All trading operations, yes, this will be recorded. All trading operations involve serious risk and you can lose your entire investment. No trades are recommendations or advice. I trade on my own account. I trade my own capital. I do not trade anybody else's money. I am not a registered investment advisor. I cannot give you guys recommendations or advice of what you should do with your own capital. All I can talk about is what with my any questions about execution margin and other capital requirements, please call your broker. Okay, they love you. Call them. Uh, everybody in today's presentation adheres to all risk disclaimers on www.optionhacker.com and www.alphashark.com. Okay, I handle the nitty gritty here. Uh, I'll give you a little synopsis about me. It's weird at times for me to say. Um, I am a millionaire, and I'm a millionaire by trade. Um, this is a picture of me. So a little history here about my trading career. Um, and my trading career, I started, I graduated college in 2001. I went through a clerk to trade program with Boda Capital Management. So they taught me the ins and outs of trading. I started as a clerk in 03. Okay, so I started as a clerk in 03. Uh, and no, in 002. I started to trade in 2003. Okay. So now we're in 2017. So I've been a full time trader for over 14 years. Um, if you guys can look at here, um, I know a lot of the present pres presenters today. Um, I go for it with Price uh, once a year when we're in Vegas together. He's a very good presenter. So this is a PL statement from my clearing firm. My clearing firm was Goldman Sachs. We'll zoom up in a second. This be this is all before commissions, um, seat lease, payment for order flow. Here is 2007, my second best year ever. I made 1.5 million dollars. Uh, you can see my name is actually on the account, and my clearing firm was Goldman Sachs. I was on an 80/20 deal. So after all my commissions, I got 80% of that money. And then 2008 was my best year ever. I made over a million dollars trading Apple for two straight years, uh, and, and after leaving the floor, I'm here to teach, educate you guys to hopefully take your trading to the next level. Um, you know, if I can do it, then anybody can do it. This is my 2008 statement. You can see it's the last day of the year. My name is on the account. Cattle Group was my trading firm. There's only four of us. Um, and then there's Goldman Sachs. So I've made millions of tradings, and my goal is to teach, educate you guys to what is working today. Um, I'm going to show you something that I think is 
the coolest indicator I've ever seen. It's called the triple confirmation system. It's looking at the Ichimoku cloud on multiple time frame analysis to figure out the best possible setups. Um, and studied at the University of Illinois, Champaign Urbana, top 50 school, never written, never written algos. Um, all the proprietary based indicators that we have, I do not write to them. I have no desire to learn th think script or uh, whatever trade station easy language or whatever Ninja does. Um, all I want to do is send my ideas and my concepts to my historical data tester. Uh, we can't call him a best tester. So he's a historical data tester. He looks at all the information and then he tells me, hey, did it work? Did it work? We're going to make it in, um, an indicator. So this is the only indicator that we have that we've looked at historical data. Um, and this is why I am choosing to teach you guys this one. Um, we have 14 educational courses uh, on demand in DVD, but I only want to teach you guys this one. One selling indicator this year, and this can be used for anything. You know, we have courses on earnings and usual option activity, um, but this is the only one you can use for any product whatsoever. So I was a floor trader at the Chicago Board Options Exchange. Um, I was in the Apple pit. That's where I met my bread and butter for a very long time. Now I have the luxury of being in multiple cities, um, sometimes in Dallas, sometimes in Chicago, sometimes in San Diego. I'm going to El Paso for a wedding in Iceland at the end of the month. You know, trading has evolved and it's so great you can be anywhere in the world um, all you need is internet connection and you just need you know access to data um, you know back in the day you'd have to call your orders down to the floor it isn't that anymore okay today is the best day ever for a retail trader i'm sure most of you guys are retail traders you're not in show desk and this is the best time for you and every single day becomes a little bit better you have brokerage firms competing for your business on a daily basis, giving you free commissions, giving you unlimited commissions, giving you, um, you know, uh, money back for educational courses. Um, everything we teach is an educational course. Every indicator is educational. So um, you have to have to talk to your tax guy, but you can write everything off as educational, which is pretty cool. Uh, rugged contributor on NBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, BNN Canada. Floor trader at the Chicago Board Options Exchange. Uh, I am currently in extensive talks with CNBC about getting my own show on prime time, which is really cool. Um, and that would be um, something that'd be awesome. Is actually talking about the Airbnb business model, um, which is a little bit different than um, what I'm going to teach you guys today. But you know, I've been in the trading space and the stock market space for 14 years. Um, I have not traded days this year so I'm basically plugged into the market every single day putting my money in my mouth is um, today I'm having a very rough day I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat anything I'm down about six thousand dollars win is a big position of mine I'm long win and money in that one um, but you know hopefully we'll get a little bit of bounce here okay so what we're gonna teach you guys today we're gonna teach you what the Ichimoku cloud is we're gonna teach you the mathematical equations of the Ichimoku Cloud. We're gonna teach you how you can put it on your Thinkorswim platform. Then we're gonna teach you um, how to use the Ichimoku Cloud. So the Ichimoku Cloud is my favorite technical analysis method. It shows me past, present, and future at single glance, and it stands for one glance equilibrium bar chart. So there's a couple of reasons why I like the Ichimoku Cloud so much. Let's talk about the three main reasons I like the Ichimoku Cloud. Number one, no one's ever going to complain about this. It is 100% free. Okay, it is available on eSignal, TradeStation, Thinkorswim, Ninja Trader, uh, MetaStock, um, Interactive Brokers, Option House. So number one, it is free. Number two, it uses past present and future if you think about any relationship you have in life okay let's say a relationship with your wife relationship with your husband a relationship with a friend a relationship with um you know anybody okay you say hey how is it today how was it in the past and how is it in the future 
idealistically, you'd want every relationship to be good in the past, good presently, and good in the future. That is probably not realistic. That's you want every chart. Probably the main reason you guys are losing money when you're trading is because you look at a chart and you think about what the company actually does, okay? Everything is a supply demand curve between buyers and sellers. It does not matter what a company does. All it demands is they're more aggressive buyers or more aggressive sellers. I learned my lesson as you know a supply demand curve when I was very young. I used to be uh, work baseball card shows with my father. And what is a baseball card? A baseball card is a piece of cardboard. Okay, just because it says Michael Jordan or there's only a thousand them printed, it's worth a lot more. But in theory, it's just a piece of cardboard. Comic books, they're just pieces of paper, okay? But if someone's willing to pay more, the price goes higher. So the difference between, you know, in the long run, yes, there's fundamentals that are important. Um, yes, there are things that matter. But in the short term, it's just a supply demand curve between buyers and sellers. More aggressive buyers, price goes higher. More aggressive sellers, price goes lower. And that's really, really all you have to think about when you're trading, okay? Are there more buyers in the market or are there more sellers in the market? If there's more buyers and the price goes higher. You know, you can think about a house, okay? And whenever I draw a house, everybody's like, that house isn't worth any money. <laughs> so this is a house. Ooh. Okay, and this house, let's say it's in New York City in Manhattan. Well, in Manhattan, it's gonna have a higher premium than is, is if it's gonna be in the suburbs of Chicago. But let's just say, for example, I own a, this house in Chicago, and I put it on the market for 500,000, okay? My agent tells me, hey, it's worth about 330 a square foot. That's what stuff is in that area is sold for. Um, and I put it on the market for 500,000. Let's say, hypothetically speaking, Someone comes in and they're like, hey, AK, I'll buy your highs, but I'm only going to give you 460. Then someone says, I'm only going to give you 440. And then someone says, I'll give you 450. Okay. And it's been about six months. Is your house really worth half a million dollars? And the answer is no. It's probably worth somewhere in this 450 range. Let's say on the reverse row, you have someone that comes in and says, AK, I want to buy your house. You made money trading there. I want to make money trading. Okay, so what would you do? What you could do is, I'm trying to see what email is. Um, so let's say someone came in and says, AK, I'll buy your house. I'll give you 520,000. Well, the next person goes, I'll give you 530,000. And the last person goes, I'll give you 545,000. So you say to yourself, oh shit. I probably mispriced my house. It's probably worth a lot more than I thought it was, okay? So this is the same example, guys, of a supply and demand curve. Just looking at a house versus looking at um, a house versus looking at the stock market, okay? So then we're gonna bring up the Ichimoku cloud here. Okay, so let's go to thinkorswim and let's bring up the Ichimoku cloud. And we can bring it up on anything. So let me just remove everything here. Plow. Okay. okay. So this is Win Casino. And we're just put up Win because I have a pretty big position in it. Okay. So this is Win. And let's say, hey, this chart looks, you know, pretty good. You know, they had earnings stock gap lower. Is it a buy here? Okay. So Win Casino gap higher here. Let's bring it up here. So what I do is I hit this measuring glass here on the left. This will bring up the Ichimoku cloud. Remember guys, it's 100% free. So you hit the measuring glass. And then you go on the left and you write Ichimoku. You double click. Okay. I use the default setting of nine and 26. You can feel free to use whatever you want. But 9 and 26 is what I use here. Okay. 9 and 26. That's what I use for the Ichimoku Cloud. So what I do is I go in here and then I hit apply. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so here's the YouTube Cloud. What I will do is I will go on here and I will double click on the cloud. So I double click on the cloud here. I go to my width. I personally like a thicker cloud. Um, you know, everybody's different. Change all my widths to five. Okay. So I go to tank in. Let's put five pink. And five green. Spine five pink. Spine B, five green. Kanku, five blue. Okay. I apply. Okay. Perfect. Here's my Ichimoku cloud. And you see here that wind is breaking the cloud to the downside. Okay. And I'm going to ask you guys a question here, and I want you guys to tell me what you are. So there's basically four kinds of traders. And all you guys have to do is respond with one, two, three, or four. Okay, and I'm going to tell these trade what you could possibly be as a trader. So number one, you could be a breakout trader. Number two, you can be an aggressive pullback trader. Number three, you can be a moderate pullback trader. And number four, you could be a counter trend trader. Okay. What number are you guys? One, two, three, or four? One, two, one, 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 one. A lot of breakout traders. A lot of breakout traders. Okay. So see here in win, win is breaking the cloud to the downside. Okay. You went to this website, stockchart.com. Okay. You can go to free charts. Then go down here as predefined scan results. Okay. You click on predefined scan results. Then you go down. And then you see stocks that have moved above the cloud or below the cloud to the so I'm teaching you guys how to break out trade. So we have 425 stocks. Ooh, let's get, get white. It's not going to work very, very well on a white background. So we have 425 stocks that have broke the cloud to the upside or the downside today. Okay. How do you figure out which setup is the best? And I'm going to teach you that, guys, today. And I'm going to show you today. You could have taken Amazon and made money on the breakout to the cloud to the downside on the daily chart. So let's go through the mathematical equations here, and you guys will figure out why the cloud works out so great. So you guys can memorize all these if you want. If you never want to memorize these mathematical equations, you do not have to. Okay. The first one is known as the taken sign. I call the taken sign the S. T, T, which is the short term trend. Okay, what it is is the highest high plus the lowest low over the last nine periods divided by. So if we're looking at win on a daily chart, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Highest high, lowest low divided by two is right here. And you say to yourself, AK, you know, why am I looking at the highest high and highest low? The highest high tells me where stock found first. Lowest low tells me where the stock found buyers. So the highest high plus the lowest low divided by two divided by is the short term trend. One of the big problems you guys are using moving averages is moving averages do not work. Moving averages are so fixated on closing prints, okay, which are very heavy, heavy manipulated, okay. So let's say, you know, if you had a stock, and let's say it was 100, you knew every single day, it went up to 110, found sellers, and closed it up. 
every day for like two weeks, okay? Let's say you day traded the stock. Well, your moving average is gonna be 100. But using the Ichimoku Cloud, you know every day it goes higher, so why wouldn't you wanna take advantage of this, right? So moving averages, guys, simple and easy, do not work. So do not get trapped into using moving averages because they do not work, okay? So let's go back here. So you say to yourself, wind's breaking the cloud to the downside. I think this is a good short here. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly why it's not a good short. And only time will tell, but we hit the measuring glass. I put in the triple confirmation system, okay? And what I do is I put it, change the time frame to a two day, we'll talk about time frames, three day and weekly chart. I hit apply and I hit okay. Okay. Yes, wind is breaking the cloud to the downside on the daily chart, but multiple time frame analysis shows me that wind is still bullish on the two day, the three day, and the weekly. So all these dots on the bottom give me a um, give me multiple time frame analysis. I'm going to remove this again, and we're going to go over the, the list of the other quick. But I do not think wind is a short here. Okay. So we have the tank and sign, which is the short-term trend. We have the Cajun sign, and the Cajun sign is known as the, I call it the LTT, which is the longer term trend. This is the highest high plus the lowest low over the last 26 periods divided by two. So we had to count it out. It's still actually these same numbers. That's why it's exactly the same. And you say to yourself, you say, AK, What's going on here? What's with these weird random numbers? 9, 26, 52, okay. Ichimoku Kinkin Hoi is based on the Japanese calendar. The Japanese calendar is used to have six trading days in a week. Six trading days in a week would be a week and a half of data for your short-term trend on the daily. 26 would be one month of data. So this is why we use 9, 26, and 52. You can look at changing it. I will never ever change it. I've never looked at historical data or back tested it. Um, people have changed it to 822.52. I'm not changing it. I stick to what works and this is currently working right now. So that is known as the short term trend, the long term trend. Then we have chemo. Chemo in Japanese actually translates to cloud, okay? So we have two things of the cloud. We have spawn A and we have spawn B. And like I said, guys, you don't have to know any of these equations. All you have to do is bring up the chart. And we're gonna give you plenty of time at the end. I actually have a podcast at 10.30 Pacific. So um, I'm gonna have to go right before that, which is my hour 15. So spawn A is going to be the LTT, which is long-term trend plus the STT, which is the short-term trend, divided by two, plotted in the future 26 periods, okay? So today's cloud right here was constructed from 26 periods ago. The future cloud is constructed from today. So this is the high of the 52-week high, divided by two, plotted in the future, okay? And then we have Kanku. Kanku is known as the lagging indicator. And it is today's price literally just plotted 26 periods ago. So those are all the mathematical equations. None of those really matter. Okay. All you guys have to do is give me a stock right now, stock future of Forex, and I will tell you what I think. So just put in a couple things right here. Okay, so someone says AT&T, and I'm going to do a little trick here because I'm going to put in my triple confirmation system, which you guys will all be purchasing today. Shake your head and say, I'm going to buy it today. And let me put in my multiple time frame analysis. So two day, three day, and weekly. We'll look at about six stocks, and we'll go through the presentation. I'll give you plenty of time at the end. Okay, so Sprint, oops, Sprint. Okay, Sprint's down 19 cents. 
Um, so spread is on a triple confirmation long. It does have overhead resistance here. Okay. So triple confirmation long. Sprint is a long. It's long in multiple time frames. So you can buy a sprint here at 868. Stop would be a 775. Sprint is a long. Let's go to Goldman Sachs. And after I talked about wind not being a short, it's rally, ready rally 50 cents. Yeah. Goldman Sachs. So the two day chart is bullish. I'm oh, sorry, the daily chart is bullish. The two days bullish. The three days neutral and the monthly is bullish. So I would rather be long than short Goldman, but I think it's a no touch. Let's look at AL uh, series. So series set up a long right here. So what we're doing is we're looking for breakouts of the cloud on the shortest time frame combined with multiple time frame analysis. Okay. So what we're looking for, guys, is a breakout breakout of the shortest time frame and I'm going to give you guys the time frames you should be using on every single product out there so you want to break out on the shortest time frame confirmed with multiple time frame analysis MTA so here is your signal here in uh, series divide at 536 stop was about 490 you could have rebought it right here okay so each of these dots means something the dots on the bottom this is your daily, two day, three day, and weekly chart. Okay, when you get a breakout of the upside on your short time period, you're gonna be looking for, so basically you look for a dot on top. When we have a dot on top, and you see a breakout, you can buy it with your stop under the cloud. And that got you to 589 in series. Let's go to the Qs. So Qs, gave you the triple confirmation long. So what are we looking for, guys? We're looking for a green dot, okay, with a break of the cloud. So where do we get green dots? Right here. Where's the break of the cloud? It was right here. So you could have bought Qs at 140.88, could have got up to 146. So look for that dot on top. This gives you all your signals, guys, with a confirmation. And then you buy it and your stop is under the cloud. You could get long the queues back here at 120. Okay, your stop would have been under the cloud. I mean, you could have in theory held it the whole time here. And let's look at one more stock here. Uh, I saw another one stock I wanted to look at. Let's look at Momo. <clears throat> and these are all stocks you guys are suggesting. I didn't randomly pick these. So what do we see here? Okay. If you took this short here in Momo, you would have lost money, okay? I would have never taken that short. Broke the cloud to the downside, okay? But multiple time frame analysis shows me it's only bearish on the daily chart. It's still bullish on the two day, still bullish on the three day, and it's still bullish on the daily chart. So we're looking for a green dot on top and breaking the cloud to the upside right here. Green dot on top, breaks the cloud. You could buy it at 41.22, got up to 46. That is a nice winning trade as a swing trade. Here's another setup. You look for a green dot on top. You look for a breakout of the cloud to the upside. So you could have bought Momo at 27. Stop would have been under the cloud. You could have got up to 45. So this is a very, very easy simple system guys where you're just looking for dots and breakouts okay OLED you could have bought it anywhere in here do we have a green dot on top the answer is yes that means all four times line up okay so all four times line up and we see the breakout of the cloudy here or here you could have bought it at 109 even 111 you could have got up to 117 uh, sorry, 123, and it's still trading 117. Dot right here, break out of the clouds to the upside. You could have bought it at 70, you could have ran it all the way up to 110. So we're looking for breakouts of the upside with a dot on top. It's that simple and that's easy. Let me show you an example today in Amazon. Okay. And I flagged this for my subscribers. Okay. So Amazon is going to trade best on a 12 minute bar. 
okay? 12 in a bar as a day trade only, okay? So when a day trading, I wanna look at 12, I wanna combine that with the 30, 60, and 120. Amazon was a short on the close of the first bar. Right here, guys, do I have a red dot? And do I see a break of the cloud? So I have a red dot and I see a break of the cloud. That means a short. So I shorted Amazon at 993.60. Okay, stop would have been above the cloud, about 1,008. Let's say you took 20 shares, which is what I took, okay? You took 20 shares here, you would have been risking about $300. You could have ran that down to 981. So you would have made about $220 today in Amazon, okay? So it keeps the probability and math in your corner. You're looking for dots on top and breakouts, guys. It's really simple system to learn, and it's very, very easy. And like I said, it's our number one selling indicator. I mean, I can bring it up on anything here. I can bring it on futures. I can bring it up on oil. Um, and there's nothing that's really failed on. So let me go to oil here. So I want to change my time frame to the 12-minute bar. And I'm looking at multiple time frame analysis. 30, hourly, two hour. Okay, so oil is on its long right now. Okay, so oil was a long right here. 49.41 as a day trade only, guys. So right now, oil is a long at 49.41 as a day trade, green dot on top, and a breakout of the cloud, okay? Is there any other charts you guys wanna look at, just really quickly, and then we'll go back to the presentation. All right, so we went over all the mathematical equations. Okay, so, who should be using the cloud? This is always a question. AK, should I be using the cloud? I just want to move this back up here. AK, should I be using the cloud? Who should be using the cloud is always the question we get. The Ichimoku cloud, otherwise known as Ichimoku Kink and Hoi, is a popular indicator for traders who day and swing trade. So you can use this indicator to day trade stocks. And when you purchase the indicator today, guys, you will get a list of what time frames you should be trading the indicator on. For some reason, I have no idea why, Apple trades better on a 10 minute bar than a 12 minute bar. No clue why. Most other stocks trade better on a 12 minute bar. So we're gonna tell you guys which time frame you should be trading stocks on. So you can use it to day trade stocks. You can use it to day trade futures. You can use it to swing trade options. You can use it to swing trade stocks and swing trade uh, futures as well. So different products work best on different time frame. In this presentation, we're gonna talk to you guys about uh, what time frames you should be using when you're trading the Ichimoku Cloud. This is like the most important thing that I can give you, and we're gonna talk about it. And these have all been ran through my historical data tester. Okay? We're not just randomly making these up. So typically, I'm using the Ichimoku Cloud to trade unusual option activity or to swing trade stock. However, recently, I've been doing more day trading, okay? Day trading been very good. Stick to what works, okay? If you guys trade earnings really well, pump up the volume, okay? There's probably one of the best selling books ever is scale, Scaling Up. It talks about scaling it up, okay? So basically, whatever you're making money in, I'm telling you right now, I make money day trading the triple confirmation system, okay? Whatever you make money in, maybe you wanna start really, really small. Maybe you wanna trade, um, you know, $100 of risk a position. You make money, you scale it up. You move up to $200 of risk. You make money at 200, you're gonna scale it up to 500, okay? In no time, maybe a year, you're gonna be at $5,000 of risk per trade, okay? And this is how you build an account. You scale up your positions, okay? <clears throat> so 
So you scale up your positions, you start small and you start scaling them up, okay? Well, I used to risk 100 bucks, now I'm risking 5,000. So I use this, uh, over the last five years since I left the trading floor, um, this has been the best indicator that I've seen. We have 10 indicators here at alphashark.com and you know I had time to present in front of you guys today and this is our number one selling indicator for 2017. This is why I wanted to teach it to you guys. Every single person can use this indicator starting today. We also have mentoring sessions you guys get with that. We get installation videos, we'll give you trading plans, we give you everything. <clears throat> so these are the different time frames you should be using it on. Okay, oops, let's go back. Okay, so stocks. You wanna trade stocks using the Ichimoku Cloud on the daily chart, okay? You're looking for breakouts on the daily combined with the two day, three day, and weekly. Okay, if you're trading currency or currency pairs, 15 minute bar breakout with the uh, 60, 120, and 240. Oil futures, if you're day trading, you wanna do the 12, 30, 60, 120. Treasuries, treasuries is like literally the only thing um, that I've never traded before, but 12, 30, 60, and 120. Do you guys wanna see today, right this second, which stock have the highest probability of going up? I'm gonna show you. So what we do is we, we created this for you guys. We have a scan functionality, okay? So these are the best, these are stocks that are breaking the cloud on the daily with a triple confirmation setup. So we go to scan. We've already built this out for you guys. You guys will get this for free. So we wanna to go to bull day trades, okay? I like to make my criteria free of like 300,000 shares and $30, okay? We hit scan. We're gonna look here and we're gonna to go to 2.0 here, right here, whatever's 2.0. And they are all 2.0, okay? These five stocks right here, okay? We looked at the list on stockcharts.com. Stockcharts.com gave me 425 entries. These five stocks right now have the highest probability of going up, okay? So let's just bring one up here. Let's look at Humana. Uh, Humana's moved too much. Let's look at ECL. Okay, let's go to ECL. So you don't have to go and look at the whole market, right? So this ECL, wow, I don't know what happened yesterday. I don't like that tail on the bottom. Let's go to a different one. Um, let's go to A N T. Let's go to A N T M. Okay. So this right here, guys, is a stock swing trade setup. Okay. So if you believe in this system and you believe that this is putting the probability math in your corner because we're looking at a triple confirm, a triple confirmation system, you can get long this stock right here. Anywhere here, stop is under the cloud. 188 stop is 175 shooting for new all-time highs okay bullish on the daily chart bullish on the two-day chart bullish on the three-day chart and bullish on the weekly chart the probability mass says the stock's going higher the stock's going higher could the stock go lower absolutely you know what happens if they miss they, they come up with their guidance was bad or whatever that it might be okay so this probability math, there is huge, massive buying pressure in the stock. So this stock most likely is gonna go higher, okay? Would you trade a weekly, monthly, or buy the stock? Um, you know, it just depends on what you want. We send out trading plans with the indicator that you will show you guys where you can purchase the stock, where your stop losses would be, and where your proprietary base exits would be. So we give you multiple time frames, okay? I look at six chart, six certain stocks every single day. We showed you the setup in Amazon that worked really well. This is what I trade. These four, and I also trade Amazon and Netflix every single day, okay? I'm gonna give you guys a free $497 course if you can tell me this answer right now. Okay, let me bring up my charts here. 
Okay. This is literally what my charts look like. Let's set it up exactly how it looks. Set up. Okay. Apple, Amazon, Baba, Netflix, Facebook. Okay. This is exactly how my charts look during the day. Literally as a full-time trader, guys, this is how my charts look. I'm going to ask you guys a question. The first person gets it right. I will give you a free $497 course. So the question is, if I look at this right here, okay, how many different charts can I see using the Ichimoku Cloud right now? Oh, someone's already taken this. <laughs> 32 is the right answer. 32 is the right answer. So, K, congratulations, you won. So, 32 is the right answer. Okay. How do you say that? Okay. Well, I have Amazon up. Amazon, I watch on the 12 minute bar, right? So, I watch Amazon on the 12. However, I have all these dots here. Okay. So, these dots give me multiple time frame analysis. So, these dots give me the 12. 30, 60, 120. Oh, sorry. So the 12, uh, 30, yeah, 30, 60, 120. The hardest thing about trading, guys, is you only have two eyes. Okay. On think or swim. Okay. Look at this, guys. If I put up 32 charts, okay, this is three, six, eight. This is 24 charts. Do you know how impossible it is to trade like that? That's 24 charts right there. Okay. So using this, we're pulling up eight charts. And then it's giving me multiple time frames. So I'm literally just sitting here watching, you know, setups throughout the day. Boom. Amazon. Look, it just broke the cloud on the first bar. Red dot on top. Take it short. Okay. Um, no, Facebook was not a short because it is only a short on two setups. So I just see, look for these dots on top, guys. Is Apple a buy? Well, Apple never broke the cloud. We're looking for breakouts of the cloud, okay? And over the last two weeks, oh, they just talked about SYMC. I have a position on that one. I'll have for 20 at 53. Suffer my 54. Okay, so I'm just watching for these dots on top for multiple time frame. You know, we pulled up win earlier today. I said win is not a short. If you're shorting win, you're already, you're already down a dollar. I think this is a bad breakout to the downside. Why? Because in win, we're still bullish on the two day, the three day, and the weekly chart. Um, you wanna see, so I can bring up any, any forex you guys want. So let's go to US uh, pound, British pound USD. Sorry, uh, British pound USD. So I'm going to change my time frames really quickly, and I usually have this up top. So I'm going to look at the 30, the one hour, and the four hour, and I'm looking for that breakout of the 15. So let me change this to 15. Okay, so this is pound USD. Okay, so where do we see a breakout with a triple confirmation? Right here. Boom, green dot on top, breakout. You buy British pound USD right there, 132.22. Stop would have been 132.21 to the upside, okay? Dot on top with a breakout. Dot on top with a breakout, okay? You can back it up a little bit. We got a breakout here as well. Stop would have been under the cloud. They got you up here. This got you up here. Okay, so that's three signals that worked really well. I do not trade Google. The market is a little too wide in Google. Okay. So I trade, so like I said, guys, um, you know, and you guys, if you want, you can write down these, these stocks that I just gave you for free and watch how they trade over the next couple of days. Okay. These are the highest probability of going up of any stock out there because you get that triple confirmation breaking the cloud to the upside and on multiple time frames one two three four five six seven stocks so you're looking for new ideas or stocks to trade those are giving you them guys okay so this strategy is something we're going to discuss in the next couple of slides um you know obviously past performance is not indicative of future results i'm not a registered investment advisor can't give you recommendations or advice um you know i use this in my trading 
every single day. Um, but uh, this does not guarantee success. But what I have is I kind of have, uh, don't worry about exits right now. We will send you something with all the exit strategies that we came up with, which is proprietary based. Yeah, people are already asking for the link. And it's a one-time purchase, guys. You'll never be charged ever again. Not a monthly subscription. It's available on Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Ninja. Yeah, I just put the link in here now, okay? So, you know, one day I sat around because my brain always comes up with these trading ideas. And I wanted to come up with some trading ideas. And I was like, hey, um, you know, what should I, you know, what, what should my trading ideas be? Or like, you know, what, what concept should I come up with? So basically, I sat down for about eight hours and I came up with ideas that I thought were really good and would be potentially profitable. Okay. Some of the ideas I came up with were, um, you know, continuation. Testing gaps, guys. Um, you know, people. A lot of people teach gaps. Um, they don't actually work. Uh, but teaching, you know, gap strategies, um, probability of follow through. Um, you know, if Apple is up on a Friday, what's the odds it's up the next week, Monday through Friday? Um, if Apple's up on Monday, what's the odds is up uh, from Tuesday to Friday? And none of these strategies work. I mean, almost everything was a 50-50. Um, I happen to have a really good historical data tester. And I sent them all these and everything was literally 50, 50. Um, you know, if we have a big bull bar, a bullish and golfing, what size goes higher, just and nothing worked. Okay. And then I went back to my premise of, um, Ichimoku cloud, otherwise known as Ichimoku kink and hoi. And I said, Hey, you know, I think Ichimoku hope, you know, I can combine something here to make it work. So we went through back and forth. I spent about $5,000 of my own money guys coming up with this system. Um, for you guys and looking at the historical data. Um, and it worked. It has worked on every matrix possible. It works for day trading futures, day trading oil, uh, swing trading stocks. Uh, we Sorry, we didn't test the swing trading stocks, day trading stocks. And when you guys purchase it, you'll get all the proprietary based trading plans and all the stop losses. So we went through all these strategies and we said, you know, everybody talks about gap strategies. You know what? They don't work. I was like, hey, what about if Apple has a bullish day on Friday? What's the odds it's up on the weekly chart the next week? Didn't work. Then we're like, oh, what are these, you know, our best for breakouts? No, nothing worked, guys. I mean, there's nothing I can sit here to sugarcoat it and say, you know, um, stuff worked. Nothing worked. So I went back to Ichimoku Cloud because that is more or less, you know, my bread and butter. <clears throat> So let me get back in here. So the indicator we're gonna show you uh, is the result of experiences and testing in the cloud. Um, as I said, guys, I've spent about $5,000 of my own capital um, trying to get this to work. And it's at the point where it's working great. You'll see in my slide deck, my sales deck, that um, you know, I basically um, you know, basically put, you know, I wanted to come up with something that I can use in my trading every day. I like to day trade. I like to day trade the big names, um, you know, Apple, Amazon, those are the stocks that are gonna move a little bit more. So I'm sure most of you guys have struggled with selecting poor stocks, either for day trading or swing trading. I just gave you guys a list of the best stocks to swing trade, um, and you can pull that every single day. You will get all the scan functionalities for free. We have eight scan functionalities. So let's say you're looking for idea to day trade. You can go to bull day trade, and you can hit scan. There just happens to be nothing right now. Um, I look at this every single morning. I've taken trades on Visa that have been profitable, and I've taken trades on AAOI that are profitable. So you can always scan the market here, and that is included in your membership. Another thing that's really cool here um, is you can also, if you go in here, you can set trade alerts to send to your phone. Like, this is awesome. So you go in here and you go to bullish day trades. You're like, hey, I wanna get a signal to my phone. And this is all done through Thinkorswim. Um, it does not work on Metastock. I'm in close talks with Jeff Gibby, um, but it does not work on Metastock and it does not work on Options Express. So I can go in here, I can create a basket. So bull day, uh, let's bull swing trades. 
So these are the best setups. Let's say I'm on my computer during the day. Well, what I can do is I can send text alerts to my phone. So I go in here, I create edit. Sorry, I did not create that. I set, go to alert. So alert when scan results change. And this is something that Thinkorswim offers, which most people don't even know about. You can send push notifications to your phone. So you can get this via text sent to your phone. So pretty cool, right? So you'll get eight scans, you'll get eight trading plans for every single market. So the strategy, okay, we've tweaked the strategy. We'll send you all everything. It does not work on interactive brokers either. It works on Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Ninja. Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Ninja. Okay, so I developed an indicator that has shortened my time analysis for potential trade setups. I can use this to quickly evaluate chart setups for day trades, unusual option activity, and other setups. This is easily the best indicator we've ever come up with, guys. I'm telling you right now, um, we will sell out at this price. <clears throat> we keep selling out, and then we get like a million emails, people begging me to offer more of them at the reduced price. Because once you purchase it, guys, you own it for life. Like I said, guys, this isn't a subscription where you have to pay every month. You just plug it on your chart and you're ready to fire away immediately. So this was a collaborative project and will help a trader and analyze any stock more quickly. You know, we talked about it as I pulled up my charts. I said, how many charts do I have? And the smart people said, hey, okay, you have 32. Okay. It is so hard to look at 32 charts. So it's literally like you have a team of analysts and you go, hey, I think I'm going to get short Amazon here. How does the... 30 minute bar look? How does a 60 minute bar look? How does the 120 bar look? And they literally just people around you telling you, you know, I used to trade in something called the bullpen. We used to spit ideas across each other. And it's like, everybody's on the same team, you know, basically coming up with the same idea and concept of it. So since it's cloud-based, it will work for any product, any trader. We're gonna give you guys time at the end if we have time at the end and you guys can just fire on a chart and I can show you, hey, was it a profitable signal? So we're just looking for that dot on top and then we are looking for um, you know, a breakout of the cloud. Dot on top and then a breakout of the cloud. That's what we're looking for. We are calling this the triple confirmation system. I really wanted to call it the triple crown system, but I don't think I was allowed to. So this is called the triple confirmation system. It combines multiple time frame analysis on one single chart. We're gonna look at some charts here. We'll give you charts here in a couple minutes. So putting it all together. So what is the point? You say, AK, okay, looks great. What's your point? Uh, yeah, I will go over everything you get. Trading is not about gambling. If you guys want to gamble, go to Vegas. I love when I go out and, you know, I talk to a lot of people when I go out and they say, what do you do for a living? I say, I trade. And they say, oh, you trade, that means you gamble. And I say, I don't gamble. They're like, what do you mean? You just said you trade. I'm like, yeah, I trade. Everything in trading is profitability and math. If I went with my buddy to the gym and he said, hey, I can make a half court shot. I would bet him $100 he cannot make a half course shot because I know probability and math is in my corner. If he said, I want 10 to 1 odds, well, maybe we're talking about something different now. So probability and math is in my corner when I'm trading. This puts the probability and math in your corner. You're looking for a breakout on the shorter term, and then you're looking for that triple confirmation system. I showed you guys an example just today in WIN, and we talked about the first chart of the day. And I said, I do not think win is a short. You know how much win is rallied? $1.20 from the lows. Okay. This keeps you away from bad trades and keeps you in the best, high, highest profitable trades. Okay. Win is rallied. Let's see the low of the day. So win has rallied $1.30 from the lows, even as this presentation is going on, because I know it's got buying pressure on the two day, the three day, and the weekly chart. So going forward, I use this in 100% of my trading. We'll give it about 10 minutes of examples here. I want to use the triple confirmation and anything, guys. We'll let you guys have the opportunity. You can pull up any stock charts you want. And, you know, just remember, guys, when you guys get this, 
um, you will get access to this. You can pull this up at any point in time. You can look at any chart you guys want. Um, you know, sometimes at night I look at charts as well. <clears throat> and I put the link in already. I put people starting to buy. So this indicator is good for a beginner, an intermediate expert. You know, I asked, I heard a lot of you guys asked the last question and they said, last uh, presenter, they said, hey, do you get education with this? Okay. And I said, um, yeah, you get education with it. We're going to give you guys 24 mentoring sessions. That's 12 hours of coaching for the next year with myself. Private live mentoring uh, coaching. Okay. So we're going to sell 20 of these, and when they're gone, they are gone, guys. So listen to go over everything you get, and it will be kind of like trading. It's going to be a race to see who buys them first. It's $299. You get it for life, okay? So you can think of it as 99 for three months, and then you get it for life, okay? Since the markets are all-time highs, can you use the system for breakdowns? Absolutely. We can look at oil stocks, and a lot of oil stocks have been really weak. So this is the triple confirmation system. It is available on Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Ninja, okay? It, it gives you the system on all three platforms, okay? Real-time customizable scan. You will get eight scans sent to you. Forex, futures, swing trading stocks, day trading stocks, okay? That is released. You get comprehensive trading plans of all exit strategies. We have proprietary based exit strategies, plus we have proprietary based um, stop losses. So you know when to potentially get in and out of positions. Can be used for day or swing trading. You get installation guide and instructional video. You get all updates for free. And this is a special VIP price for you guys, you guys attended the webinar. Also, what we're throwing in, okay, you are going to get. 24 mentoring sessions for free. So two mentoring sessions a month, okay, for 12 months. 100% free, those are with myself. We don't pass you around to anybody else. So you get 24 mentoring sessions of the triple confirmation system uh, over the next year. It's on, I think it's on Ninja both. I think it's on both Ninjas. So you get 12 mentoring sessions as well. This is another $999 value. So we usually sell this, if you go to the website, it's $1,000 for the scanner, plus $1,000 for the mentoring. It's a $2,000 value, guys. We're offering it to you guys for $299. I'm just gonna say a couple things about it. We have about 12 minutes to look at charts. Number one, it is a one-time purchase. Once you purchase it, guys, you own it for life. So the only people that shouldn't be purchasing it if you've already bought it. <laughs> Number two, um, 12 mentoring set, uh, 24 mentoring sessions over the next year with myself. That is 12 hours of private group mentoring sessions. Those are all recorded as well. Once you guys sign up, we will send those out to you. Um, I know they are, right now I know they're August 8th and 15th for this month at 8 a.m. Pacific for half an hour. Okay. Options on the four.com. Number three, we will 100% sell out of this price point. I see my inbox blowing up. Justin's in, Nana's in, Cameron's in, Maggie's in, Kylan's in, uh, Avery's in, Lauren is in, John is in. Make sure you guys get in here. Um, number three, we will sell out up at this price point. And number four, okay, think of some ninja, uh, ninja and trade station. If you trade for the next two years, okay, Arthur's in. If you guys trade for the next two years, it's basically about 60 cents a day. If you cannot afford 60 cents a day, you should not be trading because it works in every market. And now I'll let you guys throw out some charts. We have 11 minutes to look at charts. All you have to do is say any chart and say swing or day trade. Okay, so let's look at the USO here. So USO on the daily chart. Okay, so we're looking for a dot on top. Oh, we don't have the triple confirmation. Here we go. So two day, three day, and weekly. So all we're looking for is a dot on top and a breakout. Okay, dot on top and a breakout. Dot on top and a breakout. Dot on top and a breakout. Right there, guys. Dot on top and a breakout to the downside. Shorted USO at 1050. Boom, 865. So simple and so easy, guys. Okay, let's go to T here. Uh, AT&T. So dot. We got a short setup in AT&T right 
here. That was a short dot on the bottom. Okay, we're getting another short right here in AT&T. So at and setting up another short. The extra course is just gonna help you with your education. The extra course is just gonna help you with your education. Grubhub. So Grubhub, we're looking for a dot on top, okay, with a breakout. So where's our breakout? Our breakout, we got to the cloud right here, so it would have been a buy right here, 43, stop under 39, got you to 48. So that is a winner as well. GLD. So look for that dot on top, guys. If it's green, we're looking for a breakout of the upside. If it's red, we're looking for a breakout to the downside. So we got a green dot on top right here at 121. So 121.50 was a buy. Your stop would have been 117.50. It got you about three to the upside. So that probably would have hit two targets and it would have moved the stop to break even. Um, this is never a short and it's a buy again as of two days ago, three days ago. So this is never a short because there's no dot on the bottom. Uh, Micron, yes. Micron, so Micron I think is a weak short. Okay, it was up over a dollar today. Micron is not a short. Micron will trigger a long, okay, once it breaks the cloud to the upside again. So if it breaks the cloud to the upside, it will trigger a long. Yeah, these are all daily charts. Um, ETN, so Eaton, this is not a short. Broke the cloud to the downside, it is not a short. Where was it a buy? It was a buy, we see a green dot, there's a buy right there. Break to the cloud to the upside, green dot. Got you at 81, this is not a short whatsoever. I think it will rally back. If it closes above the cloud, it produces a long. Uh, options on the floor.com forward slash scan. No, that's right, options on the floor.com forward slash scan. Do you need the six strategies afterwards? Um, you don't need it. So, you know, you can use this for anything, guys. If there's any Forex traders out there, just let me know. Works really well in Forex. Works well in futures. Um, so Amazon, we talked about Amazon being a short this morning. Where is there a dot? There's a red dot. Is it breaking the cloud? The answer is yes. It's so easy, guys. You short Amazon there. Red dot on top, which means multiple time frames. Got you to 981. Has a bounce back. Yeah, but you would ever take your profit target. Uh, USC, USD CAD. So when I look at this, I just have to change this time frame. It takes about, I don't know, 30 seconds to change it. So 15, 30, hourly, and four hour. Okay, apply okay. And when you get USD CAD. USD CAD, okay. So we're looking for a dot on top, guys, with a breakout. Dot on top with a breakout. So we got a dot on top right here. So that dot on top right here. Okay. But it got you up to 125. Then this one, you probably would have lost money and got stopped out. So you would have got a stopped out of that trade. You would never short here, you'd never short here. This one you would have taken too, and that would have been okay too. Forex, uh, 15, 30, 60, and 120. 15, 30, 60, and one, uh, sorry, 15, 30, hourly, and four hour. That's the best for Forex. So what you guys get here, um, I can do about three more charts if you guys want, and then I'll go through what you get. I can go through about three more charts. Crude, I uh, talked about crude earlier. It was a long, okay? So we talked about crude actually throughout the presentation. We were talking about crude being a long at 45, 49.41. So crude was a long at 49.41. 
triple confirmation long on tw the 12 minute bar. Talked about it right here. There's your long, 49.41. Got you up to 49.57. It's 160 bucks on a one lot. Um, let's go. I've already looked at Grubhub. I don't know this ticker for soybeans. Uh, Baba, we look at the daily chart here, Baba. A lot of people taking advantage of this, guys. This has cost me over $5,000 to build. Make sure you guys take advantage of this while you can. It's options on the floor.com forward slash um, scan. So the daily, the two day, this will be the last chart I can look at and we'll talk about it one more time before I have to go. So Baba, green dot, where did it break the cloud? Well, it broke the cloud right here. Broke the cloud right there. Green dot on top means multiple time frame analysis. Went straight higher. It's not that hard of a system, guys. You can learn it really, really easily. So this is the triple confirmation system. It is available on Thinkorswim, TradeStation, and Ninja. You can start getting it today. You can start using it right this second. The minute you purchase it, guys, you own it for life. You get customizable scans. We have eight of those. You can tweak those however you want. You get comprehensive trading plans. Every single trading plan gives you an example of a trade with proprietary based stop loss and profit targets. If you guys want to put probability and math in, in your favor, this is how you put probability and math in your favor. If you want to just keep gambling, go to Vegas, okay? But this will put probability and math in your favor here using the triple confirmation system. Four things I will say. Number one, don't think of it as $299. You can write this off after education. Think of it as an investment on your education, okay? I want to learn Facebook ad campaigns. It's probably cost me $5,000 how to do that, okay? $299 is nothing. You're getting 24 mentoring sessions over the next year of how to trade, okay? So number one, we will sell out. Number two, it's available on Th Thicker Swim Trade Station Ninja. Number three, you'll never have to pay ever again, okay? Once you purchase it, you own it for life. And number four, there is no trial period or refunds. We cannot give trial periods on this because the minute you purchase it, you get it sent to your, um, you get it sent to your uh, inbox. So the minute you purchase it, you get it sent to your inbox. So you'll get it immediately, guys. So make sure you guys take advantage of it. We have a lot of really good speakers today. Thank you guys so much. Um, you know, I used it today, made money in Amazon, made money in uh, uh, Tesla as well. Day trading, swing trading, you can use it on any product possible. It's right here, guys, optionsonthefloor.com forward slash scan. Optionsonthefloor.com forward slash scan. You will own it for life. You'll never have to pay it ever again, guys. If you're not willing to invest $299 in your education, probably shouldn't be trading, to be honest. That is it for me, guys. I have a podcast I have to go do now. Everybody have a great, great day. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys soon.